And now all 50 states have elected and sent women to Congress. On Tuesday, Vermont was the last state to elect a female Congresswoman. Her name is Becca Balint, and she will be the state's first female and openly gay Congresswoman. Balint was in Vermont State Senate since 2015, and she recently passed laws on gun control and affordable housing. She joins us tonight, fresh off of her historic win. Uh, Congresswoman elect, thanks so much for being here with us on a Saturday night. Thank you. Uh, a lot to unpack here with you, um, but first I wanted to start with this. Can we start with the fact that it's the year 2022 and you're the first woman Vermont is sending to Washington? I mean, you're a part of history. What does yeah. this, this, we, this win mean for Vermont and, and also the rest of the country? It's incredibly exciting for Vermonters and for me personally, I am the child of an immigrant. I'm the child of a working class mom. Um, I'm just a regular person. I was a school teacher for years. And so it is so exciting. And I'm in so much awe of the fact that I'm gonna get to represent the state that I love so much. And you're right, it took us a very long time to send a woman to Congress. We have been well served by our congressional team. And we are a small state, so we only get two senators and one House member. So uh, Senator Sanders, Senator Leahy, and Congressman Welch have done a great job. But I am so honored to be able to follow in their footsteps and, and represent um, my home state. Yeah, a lot of people looking up to you in this new role. Uh, Vermont is one of the Democrats' most loyal states, but if Republicans take the House, which of, of course is yet to be seen, what message does that send to your party and what might it change? Well, I think what's very interesting about this, I was a history teacher for years, so I know that the, the Democratic showing in this midterm is very striking. We have bucked um, an 86-year trend of the, the parties um, in line with the, the president usually loses a lot of seats. So we're coming in strong. If we're in the minority, we will be um, in a very closely divided house, and we are going to have to find ways to work with those, those backbenchers across the aisle who are there to get work done on behalf of their constituents, just like I am. Plenty of overlap on um, whether it's education or housing investments or the mental health crisis, lots of things that I think we're gonna be able to work together on as long as they are willing to approach the work uh, with a seriousness of purpose like I am. And Congresswoman-elect, just one more question for you tonight. Staying within your party, I'm curious as to your thoughts on this one. Um, do you think President Biden should run for re-election in 2024? Oh, such a good question. And one that is, is going to be, I know, on everybody's mind for the next two years. But I am very much focused on my own race. I believe President Biden has done an, an exceptional job. I think that as the effects of the uh, Inflation Reduction Act really uh, go into effect, people are gonna understand the work that he's done. So um, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, right now, I would be supporting the president, but um, that's, that's a long way off. What about Bernie Sanders? You know, I've heard, I was, I was next to him the other day at an event, and somebody said, would you run again? He said, I'm not ruling it out, I'm not ruling it out. So, so we'll stay tuned. Yeah. You will stay tuned, exactly. Well, Congresswoman-elect Becca Balin, thank you so much for your time tonight. We do appreciate it, and congratulations. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.